Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we are playing Marvel Champions. It's going to be Black Widow versus Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive in Tower Defense. She's all alone and she's fighting through the streets of New York to defend the Avengers Tower from the armies of Thanos. So, uh, this is, and it just kind of worked out that way, this is going to be uh, Season 13, Round 5 of the Solo Champions League. Uh, we have some options this time around. The Villain the Module of Tower Defense plus Streets of Mayhem, so not Armies of Titan. Difficulty Expert, Hero, Ant-Man, Black Widow, Spectrum, Vision, or Wasp. So Ant-Man would have been my primary choice here because Ant-Man is so capable and so powerful, but I played him recently on the channel uh, either in a, one that's already been uh, uploaded or maybe one that's upcoming. Either way, I didn't want to double up. Uh, Spectrum is a form changer that I really don't like, so I'm not going to bring her. Vision, um, not a lot of experience with him so far. Um, I, I'm not a big fan, though, again, because form changer. Uh, and Wasp, uh, again, a form changer, but nowhere near as good as, uh, as Ant-Man. So... Uh, the only one that's not a form changer is Black Widow, and Black Widow um, is one of my favorites, and uh, she actually was the first hero that I played in this channel way back in February of 2022. We're stuck, well not stuck, but we, we're, we only can take one aspect, and that's leadership, um, and campaign elements, uh, three damage to Avengers Tower, so we've already marked that. So, uh, our scenario, tower defense, we have Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive. Uh, Proxima has a scheme of one, attack of three, as a forced interrupt when she attacks. Choose to either deal one damage to Avengers Tower, or Proxima Midnight gets plus two for the attack. She has 12 hit points. Corvus Glaive, scheme of two, attack of two. After Corvus Glaive makes an undefended attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck, deal one damage to Avengers Tower for each boost icon on that card. Um, they cannot be defeated unless their, uh, well, their spouse um, also has no hit points. So they have a combined pool of uh, 23. There are two schemes. Uh, currently the active one based on focus defense. Uh, is the armies of Thanos. So that's Corvus Glaive's scheme. Uh, threshold of six, goes up by one each turn, um, is, uh, uh, starts on one. Force interrupt when the stage will be completed, remove all threat from the stage instead, then deal each player one face down and counter card. Uh, and then uh, Proxima's scheme is uh, likewise a six. Threshold goes up by one each turn, starts on one. Forced interrupt when the stage would be completed, remove all the threat from the stage and said, then deal six damage to Avengers Tower. So that's the one that's going to impact us the most, because if the Avengers Tower falls, we lose. So, uh, the Avengers Tower is an environment, it's a stronghold, unique rule does not apply to Avengers Tower. Forced response after damage is placed here. If there's at least nine damage here, remove all of it, then flip Avengers Tower over. So we want to make sure that doesn't uh, take any more damage. As part of the setup, we have a Black Order Besiege here, which is a scheme of one, attack of two, and a health of three. Because it wasn't revealed, this forced response doesn't trigger. And then we have, uh, of course, our counter here for our number of rounds because, uh, and I, I, again, I encourage people to go and check out the league to see what that means in terms of scoring. So we want to uh, defeat this scenario, taking as little damage as possible, leaving as little threat out there, leaving as little uh, hit points on uh, uh, villains and enemies um, or minions out there, um, and to do it as, as quickly as possible. And, of course, to win. Uh, so, um, for Black Widow, um, we went on to the Marvel Champions database. I'll link to the deck in the comments below, or in the description below, and credit the author. So, it uh, largely relies on S.H.I.E.L.D. It's a very handy package. So, uh, Maria Hill as our ally in leadership, because Maria just is always there. Uh, three copies to make the call. 
three copies of Sneak Attack to get our more expensive shield cards into play. Rapid Response. Uh, so after an ally control is defeated, discard Rapid Response, put that ally into play from your discard pile and deal one damage to it. So lots of recursion here. Command Team. Uh, exhaust command team and remove one command counter from it, ready an ally, so get more use out of uh, our allies if they're cheated in with sneak attack. And the Triskelion, increase your ally limit by one. So, uh, and of course it's also a shield card, which we are going to use to great effect. So we have War Machine, Agent 13, Dum Dum Dugan, Mockingbird, Nick Fury, Government Liaison, Helicarrier, and energy, strength, genius, and two car power, uh, two copies of power uh, in all of us. Uh, I'm total trouble speaking today. Okay, so for Black Widow herself, she has nine hit points on her alter ego side, a three recovery, a mission prep response after you play a prep card, draw one card, and then her perfect stat line on her hero side, a two, two, and two. Avenger, Spy, Widowmaker, response after you trigger the ability of a preparation card you control, deal one damage to an enemy. Okay, we're going to get shuffled up and be right back. It's going to be Black Widow versus Proxima and Corvus. All right, we're back and ready to go. You may notice that the end, of, just at the end of our last, uh, our intro there, uh, the kitten made an appearance, and then she tried to eat uh, Black Widow. So <laughs> she may try and jump up here again. We we'll see what happens. Okay, so we have our starting six cards. We have Sneak Attack, Command Team, Genius, Rapid Response, Maria Hill and another rapid response. So we can only have one rapid response out at a time. So we know we can get rid of that. We don't need to sneak attack because Maria Hill is uh, inexpensive. We are gonna keep command team genius and our one rapid response though. So we're gonna draw two, one, two. Power in all of us and a safe house number 29 at, there she is, she's back. <laughs> Keep having to put her on the floor. Okay. Um, well, safe house would be good, but... Um, oh, we do have a... <laughs> look at that. We do have one in there. Let's see. Um, our response is a preparation card. I don't know why. I just only noticed that. So... That's what we're going to do first. We're going to play out Rapid Response. It's a prep card, so we're going to draw a card. So we have Attack Robotics, which is also a prep card. Um, now we have some choices to make. Maria is a little expensive here. Um, let's. Don't think we're really going to get much out of command team, and I'm going to get rid of safe house for now to play Maria. Just going to draw us a card, so it's dum dum. Um. No way to cheat him out right now because he's extremely expensive. Um, I think we are going to hang on to him though. Um, and it's a little expensive to play power in all of this here, but I kind of want to attack robotics out. So an attack, preparation, skill, hero interrupt attack, when the uh, boost card is turned face up, discard attack robotics, cancel the boost icons on that card and deal one damage to the villain for each boost icon. Cancel that way. All right, so we're gonna flip over. Um, I don't want the besieger around. 
So I'm going to have Maria and Black Widow take out the procedure. Uh, hang on, dum dum. And draw up one, two, three, four. So I'll make the call <clears throat> energy, winter soldier, grappling hook, and dum dum. Okay. So that was the end. It's going to now go over here under siege. So Proxima is now the active villain. Put our threat on. We're going to have Proximate uh, Midnight's going to attack. We'll decide to give her a plus two to the attack, so she's attacking for five, and Maria's going to get in the way. So that was a grand total of seven. So Maria's gone. Um, but that means that after an ally we control is defeated, discard rapid response, put that ally into play from your hand, your discard pile, and deal one damage to it. So she comes back. She has one damage. And we draw a card. And because of prep one off, we do one damage. We're going to do one damage to Proxima. Okay. Encounter card is Proxima's Spear attached to Proxima Midnight. Uh, her attacks gain overkill and piercing. As a hero action, take one damage and, dis and spend uh, energy and genius resource. Discard this card. Okay. So she has her spear now. But it's not going to be her turn. So what do we pick up? Agent 13. Okay. So back to us. So advance the turn counter. Uh, well, we're going to use Maria to thwart here. Uh, we're going to thwart under siege because that's the one that's most concerning for us. Um, let's see. Do we have any shield supports we want to use? Um, Winter Soldier would cost us less because we have one prep card, but we won't have any others out. Dum Dum is a little expensive to bring out right now. Winter Soldier costs three. So, yeah, I think we're going to play with Grappling Hook. So we have two preps out. Winter Soldier only costs us two. I think Dum Dum's way too expensive for us. And Agent 13. We can always bring the back with Make the Call if we need to. Let's play out Winter Soldier. Um, Winter Soldier is going to, I think, do a thwart. And then we will attack. Uh, let's attack Proxima again. Put her down to nine. One, two, three, four. Active scheme is now Armies of Thanos. 
Make the Call, Widow's Bite, Strength, Dance of Death, and Covert Ops. Okay. So, threat goes on. Corvus is going to attack. Uh, undefended attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Deal one damage to the Ventress Tower for each boost icon. Well, uh, I think we are going to defend. And as a hero interrupt, when the boost card is turned face up, discard attack robotics, cancel the boost icons on that card. So he's doing two. <laughs> None. So we don't need to use. Um, well, it's an interrupt. We decided to use it when it would be turned face up. So unfortunately, we triggered that and we'll do one damage to Proxima. Uh, encounter card. Black Order Besieger. After Black Order Besieger engage you, choose to deal one damage to Avengers Tower or two damage to her identity. I'd rather take the damage. All right. Um, Cadence of Death. We don't need to covert ops right now. Do we bring somebody back? So we got to take out the procedure. Dance of Death would handle that pretty well, but we know Proxima is going to be the next attacker, and that is a problem for us. Um, the spear is not great for us because of overkill and piercing. Take a damage to get rid of it, which might be the right way to go. I am take a damage. Spear is gone. We could dance of death here. Or make the call, get Maria back. Who else do we have in there? It costs three. No, it's just Maria. Oh, yeah, I forgot to advance this. Dance of Death or Maria? Think Maria. We're going to hang on to Dance of Death. Make the call. Maria comes back. Allows us to draw a card. So it's the Triskelion. I mean, we could get it out. Yeah, we will. Okay. And then Winter Soldier and Maria attack and take out the Besieger. One, two, three, four, oops. One, two, three, four, five. Right, response, Widow's Gauntlet, Widow's Bite, Covert Ops, Sneak Attack. Okay. Threat goes on, this moves. Proxima is now the attacker. Um, we'll give her a plus three to the attack. And Maria can get in the way. So that was uh, a lot. <laughs> Eight. Encounter card. Direct Assault. Attached to the villain who is not the active villain. So it's going to be Corvus. When the attached villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. If that attack defeats an ally, deal three damage to Avengers Tower. At the end of the attack, discard Direct Assault. Um, not a treachery, it's an attachment, so we're kind of stuck with it. My dog is angry at my cat. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Well, wow, Black Widow's Gauntlet's really good for us. Sneak attack if we had anybody in hand, which we don't. We could just use this tyrant turn to put out preps. So covert ops we're not doing. So we're gonna put out the gauntlet. Uh, we're gonna use that to play out our bite. Shall put our preps together here. Um, Rabbit response and sneak attack, we don't really have a lot to do, but it'll be good, I think, on following turns. We know it's going back to Corvus. Him scheming is not so bad. So I think in this particular case, we are going to thwart and thwart. And then we're going to flip down. All right. One, two, three, four. So sneak attack, rapid response, power in all of us, war machine, make the call, and Nick Fury. Hmm. Okay. This is all pretty good, actually. So threat's going to go on. The armies are now the active scheme, our active villain. Uh, he is going to scheme for two. That's three. So it doesn't advance. That's good. Your counter card. Uh, I'm reveal, discard, and upgrade or support we control. Uh, I think, you know what, we're just going to get rid of the Triskelion. It's not really doing us much good right now. And that's turn five for them. Okay. Do we have a prep to play? Yes, we do. Uh, we are going to, we don't need to, no, we do want a sneak attack here. Who's better to have out, Nick or War Machine? Well, we're not likely to play, make the call right now either. So we're gonna play out our rapid response which is gonna draw us a card. So we have another grappling hook. Um, we're going to, don't think we need to heal right now. Uh, we are going to use the grappling hook to pay for sneak attack to bring out Nick, since he's gonna go away at the end of the turn anyway, and then we're gonna draw three. One, two, three. So make the call, Mockingbird, attack robotics. Hmm. I was thinking about getting War Machine out, but I wonder if Mockingbird might be better. Let's see here. Okay, so first things we have to do is we're going to thwart with Winter Soldier. That's going to trigger our prep. So he comes back with one damage on him. 
Uh, we're going to do one damage to Proxima. Uh, Nick is going to thwart. Um, I don't think we want to use Mockingbird right now because we know that Nick is going to get hit anyway. And he, he's going to need to go away. So, um, make the call, attack Robotics, and power in all this to pay for War Machine, who is tough. And he has ranged. He's not going to do anything because we want to maintain the tough for another turn. Um, we're going to hang on to Mockingbird for future turns. And then we are going to attack and attack. So we're going to do four. Just keep piling on Proxima. Uh, she was at nine... No, eight. No, hold on. What did we do here? Uh, I may have messed up the count. Well, either way, I think she was at eight. No, she was at seven. So she's going to go on. Oh, uh, you know, we're going to... This is a problem using dice. We're just going to uh, put her down to four. If we, you know, short ourselves a point, then so be it. It happens. All right. One, two, three, four. Command Team, Synth Suit, Dance of Death, and Government Liaison. Okay. So, scheme's going to go on. Or threat, I should say. Uh, the active villain is now Proxima. Proxima will attack. We'll give her her plus three, so she's attacking for six, and Nick gets in the way. Goodbye, Nick. And encounter card. Assault. Uh, we, do we want Proxima to be attacking again? I mean, it may not matter because we can just absorb it and we can save our, um, our grappling hook for something nastier. So we'll have uh, War Machine get in the way. Just blows his tough off. Okay. Now's the time I think we need to stun Corvus because of his really nasty um, direct assault that's on here. Um, defeats an ally, deal three damage. There's no other way to really get rid of it. We may just have to take our our lumps, but maybe not yet. Um, okay, so Winter Soldier, he's going to do his thing by thwarting off of Under Siege, because it's the nastier one. Um, Dance of Death, Liaison, we have a lot of good setup cards here. Kind of want Synth Suit. Decisions, decisions. I mean, we could flip down again. It's not too terrible of an idea. Because I think we do want to heal a bit. Yeah, I think synth suit's just way too important. So we're going to play that out. We have plus one defense. And when we trigger the ability of a prep card we control, we exhaust the synth suit. And we can ready her. So... We know we're getting... 
an encounter card anyway. We're going to thwart. Then we're going to flip back down again. Oh, I think I forgot to advance that last time. Um, yes. So, one, two, three, four, counter card. I need to step up and start doing some damage. Mockingbird, Sneak Attack, Helicarrier, Gauntlet, and Two Dances of Death. Okay. So, threat goes on. Uh, Corvus is now active. He's going to scheme for two. So it's four. Not flipping, which is a bit of a pleasant surprise. Uh, first encounter card. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so he's got direct assault again. Wow. Oh, no, who's not the active. So now Proxima has it as well. That's pretty nasty. Uh, next, Secret Lair, which this is one of the ones. Um, this is uh, Streets of uh, Mayhem. It surges when revealed, discard each other setting environment in play. Well, yes, yeah, not a setting. Okay. Each enemy in play gains one acceleration token. Each hero and ally in play gets plus one thwart. Ugh. Okay. That's. That's nasty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those are pretty nasty. Okay, so do we have any preps? No. So I'm not going to be able to draw a card off of this. Oh, acceleration tokens. Each enemy in play too, and that so that's uh, that's a lot. We we better hope that we get another environment to uh, rid ourselves of that because that's just nasty. Okay, um, well, let's flip over, at least we can do a lot of thwarting, but we need to start actually getting a lot of damage in here. Um, sneak attack's not going to work for us because we don't have... I know what we could get Mockingbird in here, but it's only a discount of one, so I'm not really sure if that's worth it. Um, I think we do want the other gauntlet though. Pardon me, thanks. We definitely want Mockingbird. And I think we want to pay full for her. So we're going to stun Proxima. Uh, at least we can do a lot of thwarting here. Um, so Black Widow herself is at a three. So that can go, Mockingbird is at a two. So we can get everything off of here. And I think War Machine is actually gonna be the one to attack. So we're gonna do two to Proxima. Uh, Winter Soldier, 
not likely to get attacked. I mean, we could always make the call him back. Oh, make the call doesn't work very well, the Winter Soldier. I think he's done a lot for us, so I think he is actually going to attack and bring Parks of Midnight now down to zero. So we'll remove the die, but she's, of course, not defeated because Corvus isn't defeated. Okay. Stand up. One, two, three, four, five. Attack acrobatics, sneak attack, rabbit response, rabbit response, sneak attack. Okay, so rabbit responses are really good for us, or at least one rabbit response is really good for us here. So, uh, each one of these now, because of secret layer, has an acceleration token. So, three goes on to here, and three goes on to here. Oh, God, secret layer is nasty. Why they're hanging out in a secret layer when they're attacking, who knows? Maybe they're managing the attack. Uh, yeah, the active villain is Proxima, so she's stunned. Encounter card. Uh, it's a treachery. Okay, I don't want this to happen, so we're going to use our grappling hook. Uh, when reveal treachery, discard it, and then cancel the effects of that treachery and discard it. Uh, we're going to trigger one damage to Corvus. Okay. So back to us. Well, uh, it's going to be thwarting, because, <laughs> ew. Thwarting, thwarting, attacking, Um, we have the gauntlets available to us. So we are going to then put out a rapid response. Uh, sadly, sneak attacks aren't going to do anything. Uh, we're going to put out an attack robotics. But I am going to hang on to both Rapid Response and Sneak Attack. One, two, three, four, five. All right, sneak attack, grab response, genius, widow's bite, energy. Okay, so um, we know, whoop, oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Just got uh, a lot of energy here this morning. All right. Um, what are we doing? Yes, so three and three. This goes to Corvus. Corvus is going to attack. Uh, the attack gains ranged, and that attack defeats an ally. So it's going to defeat an ally because we don't really have that much of a choice. Um, so Mockingbird is going to take the hit. So I'm gonna remember to do this in the right order. When a boost card is turned face up, I think we might actually trigger attack robotics as well here. So, uh, only one. If damage from this attack defeats an ally, deal three damage to Avengers Tower. Ouch. 
that's pretty nasty because that means it's going to flip the tower on us uh, now it's going to do one damage Mockingbird is going to die but she's going to come back because of rapid response so it's going to trigger another damage Woof, that was pretty nasty. Oh, I forgot to put a damage on War Machine, I think. Either way, it just hurts me in the long run. Um, okay, so the attack from Direct Assault did three damage to the tower and then rain fire. So they really meant business, so that did six. So the tower's gonna flip. Um, first response after damage is placed here. If there is at least nine damage here, the players lose the game. Yeah, so it can take another nine, but still, that's not cool. Um, and, and kind of card. It does it again. Wow. 12, no, it was nine, nine damage in total to Avengers Tower in one turn. Gross. Absolutely gross. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot when she came back in to stun somebody, and we're going to stun Proxima. Okay. That's turn nine for them. So, uh, we're going to use the gauntlets to put out rapid response again. Um, I think War Machine and Widow need to do some thwarting again to keep this under control. So War Machine's going to go. Now, I think we should, no, you know what? I think that's a good idea to do a rapid response with him because this allows us to do a lot on this turn. So we're going to use the rapid response to bring back War Machine. The one damage is going to ping off the tough. It's going to trigger one damage from Widowmaker uh, we triggered it, so we can now ready her again. Uh, we have nobody in hand to sneak attack. So I think we're just going to play out another, a second Widow's Bite. And we're going to hang on to these energy cards. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of damage here. Uh, which is going to be enough actually to take out... Uh, Corvus. So, they now are going to go to third stage. He has 14. She has 15. Okay. That just makes them nastier. Okay, so we're going to hang on to our energy. And it's over to them again. One, two, three. Safe house, command team, and rapid response. Well, I'm glad we keep getting these rapid responses. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the active villain is Proxima. She's stunned. As long as we keep that direct assault from happening, I think we're okay. Encounter card. Corvus's glaive attached to Corvus. 
Uh, he gains retaliate one as take one damage and spend energy and my resources to discard this card. Okay. Well, we can always stun him again. Um, yeah. So we're going to start by thwarting. Thwarting. Uh, we're going to prep our rapid response. Um, oh, yeah, that meant War Machine's gone. Before we played that, it's going to be Mockingbird. Mockingbird is going to uh, attack. Uh, we're going to attack Proxima. So she's going to go. But then rapid response is gonna trigger. She comes back. We'll stun. Um, who goes next? Corvus. We're gonna stun Corvus. We're going to Oh, that triggered. Uh, damage. Oh, but she only did one damage, so that's all she's taken. That's fine. We're going to prep or use the suit to stand up again. Forgot we're on turn 10. This is a bit of a long game, and that, well, I mean, it's, she chips away at the uh, the health of the enemy. Um, I think we're gonna hit again. Bring it down to 12. Play out the command team. Oh no, uh, yeah, cause she came back in. Play out the command team. Um, cars are stunned. Do we hang on to energy to repel the safe house? I don't think we really need to play the safe house. Uh, Black Widow will attack Proxima for two again. All right. One, two, three. Acrobatics, make the call, and Agent 13. Hmm, okay. Make the call might be pretty solid for us here. Okay. Um, threat goes on. Oh, yeah, active is Corvus. He's stunned. And counter card, Corvus is cunning. Corvus activates against us. Okay. So. I think we're just going to have to throw Mockingbird in the way. So attacking for three, four, five. So be it. Uh, 
Um, so let's turn 11. Now we know a really big attack is coming from her. I feel like to weather it, I need to bring back War Machine. But then, okay, well, we could just thwart one of them. Um, we're going to bring out an attack robotics. I make the call and spend these to bring <sighs> or do we bring out just Mockingbird to stun Proxima I feel that it's going to be we're going to hang on to Agent 13 we're going to bring back Mockingbird So, stunning Proxima. Uh, and then we're going to thwart for two. Use the command team to thwart for another two. And Black Widow the thwart over here. Okay. So, Mockingbird. One, two, three, four. Dum Dum Dugan, Covert Ops, Maria Hill, Pyron all of us. Okay. Might be a dum dum turn. Maybe. Or just a, just a Maria turn. Okay, anyway. Back to Proxima. She's stunned. Encounter card. Uh, when revealed, Proxima Knight activates against you. That's the treachery. I have nothing to stop the treacheries. But I do have Attackrobatics. So. It's a lot of damage. There's no way that we could weather this kind of hit. So. Mockingbird will have to get in the way. We'll give her the plus two attacks. She's attacking for five, six, seven. Uh, <laughs> 10? Amazing. So that's just going to kill her. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to use attacker bags, but good thing we didn't because there were no boost icons. This is gone, but the tower takes three. So it's close to going down here. Okay. We need to step up our uh, our damage game. Um, what can we get out here? Well, I mean, Maria, I think, is the obvious. Yeah, so we're going to put up Maria. Draws the card, power in all of us. Just one shy of being able to uh, use Dum Dum. Let's 
Luckily she has a very good thwart. She has a, a three thwart, so we're going to do that. We're going to have to thwart that. Um, yeah. Kind of a rough turn there. Oh yeah, I forgot that's on 12. One, two. So we have Paranolis, Dum Dum, Paranolis, make the call, and Triskelion. Okay. Back to this. This switches. Carvis uh, will attack. He's attacking for three. Um, three plus more. So that's Corvus's cunning. So Maria just evaporates. Encounter card. Back alley enclave. Surge. When revealed, discard any other setting in play. Each character in play gets plus one attack. Okay. So, the secret layer is gone, and now fighting in the back alleys. And it's going to surge. Black Order Berser Berserker. Uh, either we have to deal one damage to Avenger Tower or take two damage to our identity. We're going to take two damage to our identity because otherwise that would be insane. We are, however, now going to trigger both of our Widow's Bites to kill it. We triggered two this turn, so we're going to do two more damage to Proxima, so she goes down to eight. There we go. Okay. Well, it may not be Dum Dum's turn. Because again, no preps really is a problem. Like Dum Dum's really good for us as a hitter, but unfortunately we only have one shield out, so he's only going to do four. We could hit Proxima enough to knock her down to nothing. But the problem, of course, is the threat that's out there. Or do we continue to save him and instead, on this turn, use Make the Call to bring out his... Uh, Is Nick in here? We haven't seen Nick. Huh. Okay, we're instead going to make the call, use one power in all of us, and the Triskelion to pay for a Mockingbird again. Oh, these aren't accelerating as much anymore, so that's good. We're going to stun... Proxima, but we do have a, a two attack now. We're going to hang on to these two. So I think we're going to attack for two, down to six. Use the command team, attack again, down to four. Um, I 
thwarting under siege is really important. So I'm going to do that and get that down to one. And hang on to these. One, two, one, two, three. Dum Dum, Power and All of Us, Grappling Hook, Nick Fury, Covert Ops. Okay, definitely it's going to be a Nick turn. All right, threat goes on. She's stunned. She's the active. Encounter card. Master plan, put four on a side scheme. Well, there isn't one, so now I have to go looking for one. City under attack. Hinder one. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme draws one card. Oh, okay. Well, I can live with that. One card left in their deck. Ugh. Not much left in mine either. Okay, so I think it's definitely going to be a Nick turn. Sorry, dum dum. Yeah, so one or not. Hold on. One, two, three. Now we're going to continue hanging on to them. Then we're going to play out Nick. Draws us three. Our cat's getting in the way here again. No, no, you need to go. Thank you. Just trying to get my mic wire. Okay. Oh, make the calls pretty good for us. Because that way we can get... Um, we can use Mockingbird here. Get her back. Yes, okay. Draw our last card as well. So, um, Mockingbird is going to thwart this. So she's gone. But then we will bring her back. She can stun Corvus. There's two left on there. Nick is going to thwart. That's going to draw us a card. Our last card. It's government liaison. Okay. Um, Armies of Thanos, we don't want to trigger... Um, I think I'm going to use command team to ready Nick since he's going to go away anyway. So, sorry, I should have done this in order. So they get an encounter card. They're going to get an acceleration token because that's the last one. Messy shovel on, shuffle on my behalf. And again, the cat's trying to bite my cord here. Uh, 
Okay, so that's what we got. Um, we know they're accelerating, which is a big problem. Have to shuffle them now too. We could accelerate doing damage here. Or do some thwarting. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, Nick to thwart here. We're going to use Mockingbird who's attacking for two because of the back alley to do two more to Proxima and then we are going to do three. So Proxima now is on zero hit points. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, I should look to see if there's any way to get rid of, no, I didn't have the right cards for it. Okay. Dum Dum, Liaison, Agent 13, Grappling Hook, Power in All of Us. Well, I took one too many, so that's going to have to go back. Okay. So, uh, Threat's going to go on, which has accelerated. Oh yeah, it's Corvus is active. He's stunned. First encounter card, uh, card gain surge. Oh no, hero, uh, villain, each minion engage with attacks you. Okay. So he's attacking for three base. We'll have Nick get in the way. We're gonna use our attack robotics and hope he turns up a big card. He did not but that does trigger one damage and we'll do one to Corvus. So he's 13. Next encounter card, Black Order Procedure. Um, oof. We're gonna put, I think one, da one damage on the tower, I mean, don't think we really have much of a choice here, unfortunately. Okay. Just 13 hit points left to get through. Who can do the job? Uh, the besiegers in the way. Corvus has 13. Uh, if I got Dum Dum out, he could do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which would not be enough. Okay, well we can get a free grappling hook, so that's good. Under Siege is a really big problem for us. Or do we just dum dum? We can't now. We can liaison to make and possibly cheaper next time. Midnight's gonna be the one attacking. Let's kill.
kill the besieger because that's going to be a problem and thwart two off of here because it is that's the bigger problem we can't let that do damage to the tower um yeah we're gonna hang on to these two and hope that in the following turn we can do a lot okay one two three Attack robotics and sneak attack. Okay. Attack robotics might be, this might be the turn then. Okay. So, um, threat's gonna go on. So, well, first we switch, it's gonna be Proxima. We know the armies of Thanos is now going to trigger, unfortunately. Because two was going to go on there, we get the counter card. Two is going to go back on here. Proxima is going to attack. We'll choose to give her her plus two attacks, so she's at a five. That's a lot. First encounter card. Sewer tunnels. Surge, discard each other. Uh, each character in play gains retaliate one. Oof, so Corvus is at retaliate two right now. Dropped our damage potential. And it surged. So we still have two. Heal two damage from each villain and then give them each a tough card. That's a treachery. I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna use our grappling hook. Do a damage. Yeah, I really don't like that at all. Thank you very much. Next one, a Besieger. Take damage or do damage. So we're gonna do da <laughs> one damage here because one more either way ain't gonna matter very much. So let's see, he's on 12. We're not doing quite as much damage as we did before, but we can cheat out. Uh, dum dum. So how much damage are we actually doing here? Let's see. Or do we have to take yet another turn to try and get this done? Well, Tacrobatics is essentially free. We can Oh. I mean, Corvus just hits us back so hard. We need to keep Dum Dum around to take a hit. And we need the procedure gone. So, spend everything we have on Dum Dum. There's one shield out, so he's at a plus one. He will attack the besieger because that's the biggest problem for us right now. 
Um, right now, the army's of Thanos. We might have to flip down this turn to heal. But he's gonna he's definitely gonna scheme out again and we're gonna end up with another card we don't want. Under siege is definitely gonna scheme out, so we need to thwart here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Forever response, make the call, sneak attack, Maria Hill and Winter Soldier. Okay. So. Threat. It's now, oops, Corvus again. I wonder if I just have to have Dugan take this in the teeth. I, I do. I don't really have much of a choice. But at least there's a retaliate happening. So he's going to block. So it's three, five. So Dum Dum's gone. Oh, I meant, uh, meant to use attack acrobatics this turn. So I'm going to sort of retcon that slightly. I know it's not in the right order but I need to do as much damage as possible. So one from the Retaliate, two from what turned up here, so nine, and then one from the prep going off. Okay. Um, encounter card, the procedure again. Well, we have to take the damage. We don't have a choice. So he's on eight. Can we do eight this turn? We can certainly try. So, grab a response in for free. Maria to draw us a card. Make the call. For Mockingbird. So we're going to stun who is attacking next. Stunning is going to be Proxima. Well, we spent make the call. So we've used everything up here. Attacking Corvus would kill us outright, so that's not a good idea. So we're going to take out the Besieger. Maria is going to thwart under siege. We have a rapid response, which is good for us. We just have to survive this turn. So it's 17. I think we might be on 18 now. I can't quite remember. One, two, three, four, five. Really didn't expect this game to go as long as it has. <laughs> okay. So, Grappling Hook, Helicarrier, Triskelion, Safe House, and War Machine. Okay. So, threat goes on. Uh, 
That one's almost topping out, so it's really dangerous. Proxima Stunned, Encounter Card, Secret Lair comes back. Oh no, okay. Well, at least the Retaliate's gone? I mean, that's not great. Surge, Carvis activates. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, he's gonna attack. We will have Mockingbird get in the way. Um, just don't want to retaliate anymore. Uh, attacking for three uh, and more, six. So Mockingbird is killed, but rapid response is going to go off. She comes back into play. She will stun Corvus. And then I will do one damage to Corvus. Um, okay. 19. Seven left, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. One short. That is absurd. Okay, well, we're going to prep grappling hook. Uh, we are going to put out war machine. And we have no choice on this turn but to thwart because of Secret Lair being in play. <sighs> He's tough, but we're going to have to use him to thwart. So for, thwarting for three. Well, we may not. Hold on. Thwarting for three. So Maria's gone. Thwarting for two. This is by far the more dangerous one. Okay, so now War Machine can actually attack. So he's going to do two. Tough is gone. He'll take one. Uh, okay. This is very rough, to say the least. I really didn't think this game would go this long. But my god. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, give me something that can I can really use here. Widow's Bite, Rabbit Response, Command Team, Dance of Death. There we go. Dance of Death will... Uh, might kill us. <laughs> because of... Um, the retaliate but yeah okay see what we can do so uh accelerate accelerate so three to here three to here this goes over to here he's stunned encounter card city under attack Again, on to 20 turns. This is brutal. Can we kill him this turn? He's on five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. So, good. <laughs> It'll wipe out everybody I have. Is there anything else we can do here to get rid of 
more threat before we do that. We know we can just kill him right now. Could rapid response? No. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play out these three for covert ops. We're going to thwart everything off of here. It's going to draw us a card. It's going to make the call. I don't have anybody for one. We'll put out a Widow's Bite. And uh, yeah, I think that's, we can't really get any more uh, threat gone, but we can beat him. So we're gonna do two, War Machine goes. We're gonna do one, Mockingbird goes. And then, oh, sorry, down to two. Well, regardless of the last, amount of damage is going to be from Black Widow and finally defeating him. Wow, that was that was 20 turns. 20 turns. Thank you for sticking it out all the way through this because wow, that was a lot trickier than I thought. The, considering there's only four of these um, Streets of Mayhem cards uh, in that deck, they made a huge difference in how this plays out. Um, wow. I mean, uh, keeping that, that threat down, and almost, we almost lost the tower. We were one away from losing the tower, too. So that was probably, that was very, very tight. But, you know, it felt good to, to pull out a win. And it, it's really against all odds. I mean, it's Black Widow with some shield backup taking on two extraterrestrial murder machines. <laughs> so, but there we have it. Um, Black Widow, using all her cunning and and uh, and shield trained abilities, defeat both the the, the horrible uh, married couple Corvus and Proxima in a very long drawn out game. And uh, here's the cat, and she's going to celebrate with us. But there we go. Uh, game one of uh, this round. We'll go. It's a it's a winner. But man, it was a tight one. So until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.